Hi mga kawawmat! In this video, we will find the slope of a line given an equation. So, yung previous video natin, hinanap natin yung slope given ang 2 points. So, this time, we will find the slope given an equation. So, what will be our objectives? First, we will find the slope of a line given an equation and we will rewrite an equation in the form y equals mx plus b o slope intercept form to find the slope. Kasi there are equations na hindi siya naka uh, slope intercept form. So, we have to uh, rewrite this first as y equals mx plus b for us to find the slope. So, slope of a line given an equation. So, how to find the slope of a line given, uh, given an equation? So, recall that if the line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, b, the b is your y-intercept. Diba? Kapag um, nagpa-plot tayo ng points, tapos nag-cross sa y-axis yung point natin, yun yung tinatawag nating y-intercept. Okay. So, solving for the slope, how are we going to solve for the slope given the formula for the slope na y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, diba this is the formula for the slope. So, paano natin makukuha? Paano natin mahahanap yung slope given ang equation? E dito, ito, itong formula na to ay para to sa kapag ang slope ang hinahanap natin, ay kapag ang given, rather, ay 2 points. So, yung previous video natin, ang given, 2 points. So, ito yung ginamit nating formula. Now, this time, paano kapag equation? So, i-derive natin yung formula niya. So, ang gagawin natin, since yung y-axis natin is 0b, so, ang gagawin natin, itong x sub 1 natin at y sub 1, papalitan natin siya ng 0b. Okay? Kasi ito po siya. And then, yung x sub 2 my, and y sub 2, so ito ngayon ang magiging y, x, and y natin. Ulitin ko. So, kapag nag, um, hahanap po tayo ng slope na equation ng given, so let us derive the formula in finding the slope given an equation. So, ito po siya. So, ito po yung finding the slope given two points. So, isubstitute natin. Our y sub 2, so yung y sub 2 natin is y, so ito po siya. And then yung y sub 1 natin is b. So, and then x sub 2 is x, and then y, x sub 1 is 0. Okay, so anong next? So, y minus b over x minus 0. So, ito na po. Uh, i-simplify lang natin. And then, yun po ang gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng slope kapag equation ng given. So, we will have y minus b over x kasi this is 0. So, i-cross multiply natin. So, pag ganun, or pwede namang multiply both sides by x. Okay? So, mangyayari, ita times natin si x times m. So, we will have mx and then makakancel na ito. So, we will have y minus b. So, meron na tayong mx is equal to y minus b. So, uh, mag-add tayo both sides by APE. Mag-add tayo ng B para makancel natin ito. So, makakancel na po si neg minus B plus B. So, yung inad rin natin sa kabila. So, we now have MX plus B is equal to Y. So, ayun po siya. I-rearrange na lang po natin. So, therefore, magiging Y equals MX plus B. And we all know that Y equals MX plus B, ito po yung tinatawag natin na slope intercept form of a line. So, kapag nakaganitong ayos ang equation natin, madali nating makukuha ang slope. Paano? Kasi your M represents your slope. So, kapag naayos mo ang equation mo into slope intercept form, makukuha mo yung slope. Okay? So, bakit siya tinawag na slope intercept form? Kasi ito yung slope and your B is your Y intercept. So, kapag ganito po ang ayos ng equation natin, madali nating makukuha yung hinahanap nating slope. Ito lang po siya. Kung ano yung value mo dito sa M, that is your slope. So, let's have an example. So, complete the table. So, remember to use the Y equals MX plus B or the slope intercept form kapag naghahanap tayo ng slope ng equation. So, I have here equation. So, ito po siya. Naka y equals mx plus b na siya. So, wala na tayong kailangan ayusin. Okay? So, remember na makukuha lang natin ng slope kapag uh, yung coefficient mo ng y ay 
1. So, kapag ito ay 1, makukuha mo yung slope. Now, kapag ito ay may value, ang kapag ang coefficient niya dito ay 2 pataas, okay, you still have to simplify that. Okay? So, later I will give example. So, this examples na nakikita ninyo, so, since wala namang ito, hindi naman siya 2 and up, yung ating coefficient dito, so, since 1 na siya, so, madali nating makukuha yung slope niya kasi naka y equals mx plus b. So, anong titingnan lang natin? etong m. So, ano ba yung m? Ito po siya. Okay? And then, yung y-intercept natin, which is your b, ito lang po siya. So, again, madali nating makikita yung slope. So, ano ang slope nito? This is negative 2. Ang y-intercept niya ay positive 12. Next, ano ang slope nito? Positive 3. Ang y-intercept, negative 5. Okay? Kasi ayan po. Next, ito ano ang slope? Negative 2 fifth. And then, ang, ang y-intercept niya is positive 7. And then, this one, ang slope niya is negative 3. Ang y-intercept niya is negative 8. This one, ang slope niya ay positive 10. Ang y-intercept ay negative 4. So, that's easy. Okay? So, madali lang kapag nakaform na siya ng slope-intercept form or y equals mx plus b. Okay. So, find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is 2y equals 4x minus 8. So, again, kapag ang kinukuha natin ay slope of an equation, nakukuha na rin natin yung y-intercept. So, gamit lang po yung slope-intercept form. Okay? So, given the... Um, an example, find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is 2y equals 4x minus 8. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko. You have to make this y equals mx plus b. Okay, so since may value yung y natin, so hindi, meron siyang 2 na coefficient. Okay, so meron siyang 2, so kailangan mawala mo na ito. So, paano? I-divide natin siya both sides by 2. So, kung ano yung coefficient mo dito, i-divide mo siya both sides by 2. Okay? Kasi dapat ang coefficient niya ay 1 lang po. So, kapag 2 and up na yan, you still have to solve and simplify. So, divide both sides by 2. So, makakancel na po si 2. And then, we will have 4 divided by 2. That is 2x. And then, negative 8 divided by positive 2. So, that is negative 4. Okay? So, therefore, naka y equals mx plus b na siya. Okay? So, ano po ang gagawin natin? Our m, makukuha na natin ng slope. So, our m is 2. Our y intercept is negative 4. Actually, ito po ay, ma'am, di ba this is plus? Yes. So, y equals 2x plus. Okay? 2x plus. So, ang nakuha mo dito ay negative 4. So, 2x plus negative 4. Ang makukuha mo dyan, ba? So, yung plus na yon and then yung negative mo, positive times negative, negative pa rin ang lalabas. Kaya, eto na siya. Okay? So, baka yung iba nagtataka kasi plus ito. So, y equals, uh, yung sagot mo sa m, eto yon that is 2. And then, plus... Yung sagot mo sa B na negative 4, so plus negative 4, so ganun pa rin. Positive times negative, negative pa rin siya. Okay? So, your slope here is positive 2, your y-intercept is negative 4. Another example. So, find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is 3y equals 2, negative 2x plus 4. So, yung previous slide natin, madaling makuha kasi naka y equals mx plus b. Now, itong mga examples na to, ito yung kapag yung y mo ay merong a uh, 2 and up na coefficient. So, we have 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So, for us to cancel 3, para makancel natin ito, anong gagawin? Divide both sides by 3. So, makakancel na natin si 3. Now, we will have y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4 over 3. Bakit? Kasi we cannot divide 2 and 3. So, ang gagawin natin, negative 2 over 3x. And then, 4 over 3. 3. Okay? So, what is your uh, slope? Your slope is negative 2 thirds. And then, your y-intercept is 4 thirds. Okay? So, kapag um, when we are uh, finding the slope given an equation, nakukuha na rin natin yung y-intercept. Okay? So, nakuha natin yung y-intercept at the same time, nakuha, na, ay, nakuha natin yung slope rather 
at the same time nakuha rin natin yung y intercept so the slope here the slope of 2y equals 4x minus 8 is 2 the slope of 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 4 is negative 2 thirds okay let's have another so, find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is negative 4y is equal to 8x minus 10. So, again, we have to rewrite this into y equals mx plus b or in slope-intercept form. So, we will have negative 4y is equal to 8x minus 10. So, for us to cancel this, para mawala, na, mawala ito, yung negative 4, divide both sides by negative 4. Okay, divide natin pareho. So, makakancel na po siya. We only have y, so 8 divided by negative 4. 8 divided by negative 4, different signs yan, so negative 2. And then x, okay? And then negative 10 uh, divided by negative 4, so same sign, negative, negative, positive. So 10 over 4. Okay, so meron na tayong y equals mx plus b. Okay, so therefore we will have our slope is negative 2. Now, since pwede pa natin ma-reduce itong 10 over 4, so your y-intercept will be 5 over 2. Bakit siya naging 5 over 2? Because the common divisor is 2. Pwede natin siya i-divide pareho by 2. So, 10 divide 2 is 5. 4 divide 2 is 2. So, again, the slope of negative 4y equals 8x minus 10 is negative 2. At the same time, nakukuha na rin natin yung y-intercept. Your y-intercept is 5 over 2. So, this is how we get the slope given an equation. So, you have to rewrite this into slope-intercept form. Another, find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is 2x minus 6, y equals 12. So, rewrite the equation into y equals mx plus b. So, we have 2x minus 6y equals 12. Okay. So, kailangan magawa natin siyang ganito. So, dapat ang nasa left side ay yung y natin. So, kailangan mawala ito. So, para mawala siya, mag a tayo both sides ng negative 2x. Add tayo ng negative 2x both sides. And this is what we call the APE. So, addition property of equality. So, add tayo both sides by neg uh, negative 2x. So, makakancel na natin ito. So, ang may iiwan na lang po ay negative 6y and then 12 minus 2x. Now, pwede natin siyang i-rearrange. Okay? So, pwede na natin gawing negative 2x plus 12. So, ipapattern na natin siya dito. Okay? So, negative 6y is equal to negative 2x plus 12. So, divide both sides by... Saan natin siya i-divide? By negative 6 para ma cancel out natin ito. So, divide both sides by negative 6. So, we can now cancel negative 6. Y is equal to, anong makukuha natin? So, negative, negative, same sign. So, magiging positive. So, we have 2 over 6 X. Okay? So, 2 over 6 X. Bakit positive? Kasi same sign sila. Okay? And then next, 12 divided by negative 6. So, positive, negative, so that is negative 2. Okay? So, 12 divided by negative 6, so that is negative 2. Alright. So, now, since we can still reduce 2 over 6, that is 1 third, by dividing it by the common divisor, which is 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And then, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, we will now have y is equal to 1 third x minus 2. So, what is our... Um, slope okay that is one third and then what is our y intercept that is negative two okay let's have the last example find the slope and y intercept of the line whose equation is 2x minus 14 is equal to negative 7y so unang tingin parang ang hirap naman ito kasi yung y natin nasa right side okay so but this is easy Okay, basta always rewrite your equation into slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we have 2x minus 14 equals negative 7y. So, anong unang gagawin? Okay, so, ang pwede natin siyang i-rearrange. So, gagawin ko lang, inayos ko lang siya. Nilagay ko yung negative 7y sa right side, nilagay ko to sa, uh, nilagay ko to sa left side, nilagay ko to sa right side. 
Okay, so ni, 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 re, ni rearrange lang natin. So, negative 7y is equal to 2x minus 14. Okay. So, for us to cancel negative 7, divide both sides by negative 7. So, this is cancel. And then, so we will have y is equal to, so 2 divided by 7, hindi siya na divide hindi na siya na -re reduce So, 2 over 7, different sign sila, positive, negative, so this is negative. And then, 14 divided by 7, so ito po siya, same sign sila, so positive. Okay, let us solve. So, itong 2 over 7 natin, hindi na natin siya ma -re reduce so that is still 2 over 7. Take note of the sign, this is negative kasi different signs, okay? And then, 14 divided by 7, that is positive 2. Why positive? Kasi same signs ito. Okay? So, we have now y is equal to negative 2 over 7x plus 2. So, what is now our slope? Negative 2 over 7. And your y-intercept is positive 2. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.